I scrambled up top to get a better view, but just ended up falling inside. So, how did you get out? The barn doors was open. About right then, I saw some suspicious characters running through the bushes. Of course, I followed them. But that goddamn swamp was like a goddamn maze, and pretty soon I had no goddamn idea where I was. Steve? So I just started walking, and pretty soon I... Steve! Steve! Uh, huh? Oh, uh, no, 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 I'm listening. Indians surrounded me from all sides. I just wanted to make sure Steve was paying attention. Now, where was I? You were following the Daltons through a swamp? That's right. See, Steve? Dwight's paying attention. No, I, I'm listening. I, I, I was just uh, resting my eyes. So, where was I? The Daltons. Right. Stop that! See, Stop there's that. a reason so many outlaw gangs are made up of brothers. So did you ever find the damn Daltons? Not yet, but I did find a few of their cousins. You can breed like rabbits. More Smiths or Heimhoffers or who knows what. But hell, what's more important than family? How big Ben knows what I'm talking about. Oh! 
boys were out there somewhere, standing together against anyone who would threaten them. And that's when I saw it. A goddamn steamboat. A steamboat? In a swamp? Yeah, Steve, but this wasn't much more than a wreck, really. But how'd a damn steamboat end up in the swamps? Guess it floated off during the flood of 89. Now, was it a stern wheeler or, or a side wheeler? What, what? Does that really make a difference, Steve? It was a steamboat with a goddamn army on board. It uh, was in that a fusillade of bullets come raining down from our house. And those vigilantes who accompanied me weren't anywhere to be found. But among those men that were shooting at me, I thought I saw some familiar faces. Oh. Give up too easy. That's the kind of man I am, Ben. I set out to do something. I do it. Surrender just ain't in my nature. Plus, I'm stubborn as hell. Right about then, much to my relief, the vigilantes finally arrived. Their leader motioned at a cabin in the middle of the top deck, pointing me directly at the Daltons. I finally had them, after months of dogged pursuit. Huh? But it turned out that they had me. Take him out! I'm sending you to hell! The Daltons had played Not me so like a fiddle. All, Apparently, the vigilantes were on their damn payroll. They didn't just want to shoot me. They wanted to burn me alive. But finding my way out of a burning labyrinth proved to be quite a challenge. It was a riverboat, right? I mean, it's not like it was a goddamn ocean liner. Well, yeah, but I was in a fight. Did you hear about that ship that's gonna launch next year? Largest one in the world. Um, well, We're talking about the Titanic. If you ask me, it's too blessed to. I don't think it'll even slow. So anyway... Don't be stupid, Steve. They know what they're doing. They say that the Titanic uh, is unsafe. Oh, God. But getting back to that steamboat, how'd you get oh. off it, Mr. Grease? I took in a lot of smoke that day, so I admit my recollection uh. might be a bit hazy. But somehow, I managed to finally uh. disembark. It was time to settle this once and for all.
about to come at me one at a time. They were in this together. Two brothers side by side determined to take me down. Confident that this time the odds were on their side. Ich muss ja eben nochmal Pampe machen. Hier ist, ich finde hier den Fokus drauf. Was ist hier der Fokus drauf? Keiner von denen. Nur das Wischen ist ja auch. Two brothers side by side determined to take me down. Confident that this time the odds were on their side. Kreuz hatte der ganze Körper bedeckt. Das sollte eigentlich treffen. Wenn wir das so gut wollen, wir machen nur um wieder Fokus vor zu bekommen. Ja, komm. Ich will nicht nur ziehen, könnte ich will auch den. Wissen wurde hier der Fokus bei dem Motor. They got it wrong. A sad end for those two. If they'd only known that Emmett was still alive despite his wounds. Paroled 14 years later, he moved to California and sold real estate and lived off the legend of that fateful day. And the tragic death of his two brothers. So, I will say again, for now, my own brothers died tragically as well, truth be told. It was 1868 and me and my older brothers were pulling a tidy profit running cattle into Juarez, Mexico. 
One night after my brothers retired for the evening, I found a little poker game in a cantina with a couple of cowboys. And I just couldn't lose. I even won an old Spanish coin that had to be a hundred years old. Well, I was mighty pleased with myself the next morning as my brothers and I rode for Texas. But before we crossed the border, those cowboys caught up with us. It was Johnny Ringo, Roscoe Bob Bryant, and another asshole named Jim. They wanted their money back and everything else we had, including our lives, as those boys didn't want us coming for them later. Bob put that old Spanish coin in my mouth and said, I won't have it said that I left you with nothing, boy. Well, those horses bolted, and there we hung as those bastards rode away. The branch finally snapped under the weight of the three of us, but being my older brothers were bigger and heavier, they were already dead. And right then I swore to myself that I would avenge them. Ringo you know about, but Bob eluded me until I heard he was riding with the Wild Bunch. Aber das wird was für nächstes Mal. Ich sage schon mal Danke fürs Zuschauen und wir sehen uns dann nächstes Mal hier bei Call of Juarez. Bis dann.